everyone. I'm Greg Coleman, and today is not Monday, January 25th. It's actually Monday, February 1st, but I wanted to leave this up for a minute to review last week. You know, we had our, our map up here, the United States, low pressure system coming across and exiting about uh, the same uh, latitude where it came in on the west coast. And we also had our special edition where we were talking about our loaf of bread and would our storm be a one to a potential six loafer. I left everything up where we could review. Um, we did have the storm, as you all know, I'm sure by now. I really was off a bit, definitely a good bit, really, on the how many loaves of bread you needed to buy at the store. This storm that we just had, I would say, turned out to be somewhere between a three and a four. Uh, and it was, you know, it was kind of disruptive. I mean, we did get snow, uh, and it was, it was pretty coming down. It was really cut off from what I thought it could be, and a lot of meteorologists, I think, were fooled too, because the main thing that happened was down here in the Gulf of Mexico and the uh, southern tier of the United States around the Florida Panhandle and down around Alabama, this area, a big line of thunderstorms developed, and that happens not just with winter storms, but that can happen with you know, springtime storms, whatever. And part of our drought has been that storms would form down here and just suck out all the precipitation before it could be transported north. And that really, while we were warm enough, I'm sorry, cold enough to have snow in upstate South Carolina, the transport of that moisture just didn't make it up. Now in North Carolina, it did. It was like a big band set up. And when I came uh, back into work on Friday, I noticed uh, about 2 o'clock or so I could see it precipitating up toward North Carolina. And it got right about to Traveler's Rest and just didn't quite get into Greenville. But that was an area where cold and warm seemed to come together just right to get enough lift to get that precipitation coming in where they weren't dependent as much on this Gulf inflow. So while we were cold enough, we just didn't get the precipitation in. So what could have been maybe a six to an eight inch snowfall turned out to be in Traveler's Rest, I think it was a couple of inches. In Greenville, it was probably less than that. Uh, but then a transition to sleet, so there was some sleet on top and some ice. And as probably anybody watching right now knows, we had travel problems. There was a good bit of icing. Things froze over. Couldn't get around very well Saturday. Churches were closed. Most churches were closed on Sunday. And then, lo and behold, I couldn't believe it, but uh, Greenville County Schools were closed for the day today. So it was a disruptive storm. Got to put it in here, but it didn't make it to the big six. Maybe there'll be one, we'll see. So anyway, today we're going to change that. It's not Monday, January 25th, and I won't write it down, but it is February 1st. You probably know that. This week, what we're going to look out for today, there's a little system forming in the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to ride up and out, and um, it'll be coming in probably overnight tonight. Probably first thing in the morning is when we'll get some precipitation. It'll be much lighter than the storm we just had. It's borderline, would it be close enough for some freezing rain or sleet? Maybe. Um, certainly up in western North Carolina, I think it could be. I don't think it'll be anything disruptive. It won't be that much precipitation. I don't think the ground, you know, it's not going to be very cold, but if anything, it could be right around 32 degrees or so, which might mean there could be certainly some ice on trees and power lines, etc. Don't think it's going to be that bad. Uh, just keep an eye open for that one. The bigger one of the two will be a storm. Another one is going to cut across here, come across the Gulf. Sort of undecided with the computer models right now if we get a split low or not. If we do, it would probably be rain, a cold rain, uh, maybe transitioning to some snow flurries or whatever at the end. This is, by the way, in probably the Friday, Saturday time period. Um, you know, there is some potential out there still that we have the high pressures up here. Uh, we will have them. It just depends on how strong they would be bringing in the cold air. If it's cold enough, I mean, there is certainly still a chance of freezing rain, sleet, snow. You know, we just don't know at this point in time. I would say right now it's leaning more toward rain, cold rain in this part of the county or, or even in the upper part of the, uh, South Carolina. North Carolina in the mountains, you know, Another story, they could get another big blast of snow. Seems almost unfair. They sure had a lot of it this year. But anyway, that's the way it'll be this week. Tomorrow will be rainy, maybe some ice. Watch out for that. Wednesday, Thursday should be nice. Wednesday in particular should be nice. Thursday getting cloudy, getting colder. Friday is going to be pretty darn cold and something. You know, it could be anything from rain to sleet to snow to freezing rain. Who knows? Saturday, 
uh, another chance of you know some snow flurries or showers. So we'll see how that all pans out. Last thing is, um, right now Ford has some great deals going on. There are some extra trade-in values. You get extra money if you're trading in uh, certain types of uh, vehicle that you might be driving. I don't remember specifically what they are. No Toyota, Honda, uh, Acura, Lexus, I think, are some of those. So anyway, that's a good one to check out. There are other specials too. There are rebates, incentives going on right now. And we have a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. Good buys, great discounts, four-wheel drives. And I'm telling you what, you might want to consider that four-wheel drive because I was sliding all over my driveway this weekend. So it's a great time to have one. So anyway, look at the website, georgecolemanford.com. Come up and see us, call us, email us. Uh, Brandon, as always, he's on the other side of the camera. He's always looking forward to your emails. We'll get back to you, and we appreciate you looking. Have a great week, everybody.